Gary Patchett, the 2016 Cradley Heathens 1-7 to now known, um, and this seems to have gone down really well with the club supporters. Yeah, I think it has. We're happy with the balance of the team. Uh, we've got some strength at the top. We're, uh, we've got two new riders at reserve, both on, uh, on three-point averages, and um, we're dealt a little bit of... Uh, a, a little bit of a favour when uh, we were able to get uh, James Purchase's average reduced, which allowed us to, to keep Jack, Jack Kingston in the sport. I think I said the last time we spoke that uh, he told me initially that he was uh, intended to take a year out next year. Um, and I, I still think if he hadn't have ridden next season, then who's to say would have would ever have come back? Um, you find different things to do. and. You know, if he was out of love with the sport for one reason or another, then uh, you know, it might have been a long way back. But we've been able to keep him on a bike next year and you know, reinvigorate his own in- his enthusiasm pretty much the same as me. And um, uh, and we're both champing at the bit and looking forward to it. There really does seem a, a real buzz and a, a real feel-good factor about the place once again as well. There's always been a buzz about this team, hasn't there? Because we've got such a great bunch of supporters that... Um, uh, that they're you know they're always you know hungry for success and uh, 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 and eager to do to do their bit you know uh, off the track to you know to back the riders and in, in whatever shape or form that they can. Excitement starting to build as already mentioned. Um, I know the club are really happy with the way season ticket sales have gone and can't wait for March to come around now. Yeah, well that's part of the buzz around the club, isn't it? Is that um, we've got an attractive looking team um, and part of the you know the interest in the team is that there, there's one or two unknown factors in there you know we've we've got a couple of a couple of lads that haven't haven't ridden uh, one, you know one for a few years and one that's new, new to the sport you know, and until they ride then you know we're, we're not going to know you know quite how good our team is i think it's um it will be a team that gets better during the course of the year and um yeah we are excited about the team it was a bit of an arduous season last year. Uh, Nathan getting hurt as early as he did in the season, and us not being able really to to cover for uh, to cover for his absence. But you win nothing unless uh, unless you've got some luck. 2012, we were dealt a cruel hand and uh, you know and, and, and lost the title in the, the last heat of the of the final. 2013, we barely had an average to contend with, and we won everything there was to win. So, you know, the best-looking team on paper isn't necessarily the one that, 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 that picks up the honours at the end of the year. Um, everybody has to deal with injuries, and, you know, it, it's how you deal with those and how you can deal with them. You know, sometimes your hand's forced in terms of what you can and can't do. We had nowhere to go last year when Nathan got hurt, um, you know, and our season was cruelly affected as a, as a consequence. Birmingham were very lucky when Tom Perry got injured that they were able to slot Josh Bates straight into the gap, and you know, the rest history. Tom Tom got fit, and... They barely know that they barely missed him, um, but you know, the best team won the league last year, and uh, uh, and congratulations to them. But you know we're, we're certainly on the uh, on the warpath to uh, to get some silverware back next year, and uh, and I see no reason why our team can't can't run anybody else very very close.